Myrtle Beach city leaders are preparing to take additional steps in fighting the opioid crisis. Today, city council approved accepting as much as $4.3 million in an opioid settlement claiming drug makers sparked a nationwide epidemic. News 13's Ashley Hendricks is live in Myrtle Beach. And Ashley, how is this money going to be used? Well, Bob, Megan, we do know the money will be given to the city over the next 17 years. Police Chief Amy Prox says the money is desperately needed to address the opioid crisis. She also says the city's out opioid outreach initiative consists of the police department, city council, public health services, and private organizations who all have the same goal in mind. The latest data from DHEC says Horry County has the highest number of suspected opioid overdoses in the state. She says the money would provide more resources and strengthen efforts across Horry and Georgetown counties. This is a public health issue. So this is something that the police department, along with all the, the service providers throughout Orion Georgetown uh, County are working together on. Funding is important, not only for our agency and for the city, but for all of the agencies throughout our communities. And we are still working to learn when the city will receive the money and exactly how it will be used among those agencies. Of course, you can count on News 13 to follow this developing story. Reporting live tonight in Myrtle Beach, Ashley Hendricks, News 13.